Hey, I'm Scott Woodward, and I'm two-time Moscone Cup MVP, and you're watching Railbirds TV. Well, hello, everyone. This is Jeremy Jones with Railbirds TV. Coming to you with a 2020 Derby City one pocket match. It's the seventh round, I believe, between Richie Richardson, who's at the table racking against Billy Thorpe. You can see now Billy Thorpe, who's uh, had a loss in the last round to Robert Frost, but had a nice opening five wins over some uh, really solid players. Of course, Dave Matlock, everyone knows that name. And we'll see Richie's here. Richie, who lost his partner, Justin Hall. But other than that, Richie started off real solid with a big win over Warren Kiamco. Probably, probably got some confidence going for uh, Richie. And then now on into the seventh round. Richie will be breaking in this race of three. Now, Richie, who's uh, been a name in pool and all kinds of pool, but definitely in this game for a long time. Uh, let's see, it's 2020, so I'm... Um, 49 years old so i guess richie's about 52 maybe 51 maybe 53 somewhere in that area uh billy who's already won the derby city classic a uh, couple titles in Der derby city classic really tough com competitor uh i believe he's played three moscone cups a little light there with the cue ball so that'll be upsetting but He's just, uh, all in all, just a guy who's always getting better. Works hard. Now here, if this eight is falling funny to where you really don't think you have a chance to make the four really hang it because you can't get the cue ball up, I would bank this eight back into the stack. Now he's got to be careful of this 215, is it? That would be, he didn't, I'm not sure he looked at the stack there, so he better hope this one goes in, because I got a funny feeling that 215 is a playable ball. Now, it's a race to three, so these types of shots sometimes you're, you're going to stay away from, but man. It's uh, exactly how you kind of want to hit an off-angle combination. He's behind it a little bit, you just hit it with like a center ball stun, yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty confident with those shots. But again, it's a race to three. <clears throat> Excuse me. So maybe something like he's got some options playing the nine into the four. It could go into the ones to kind of hold your ball there. That's the sh other shot I like. He's playing the kick. Okay, try to kick it with a little right English. You know, and... Besides, you know, kind of like making really off decisions, uh, you know, the guys that can stick to playing, you know, their game overall and, you know, think twice in some areas because it is a race of three, but really try to still to stick to how they want to play anyways. I think that are the guys that have the best results. Now, he could definitely make that. Now, we might see that combination now because... <clears throat> You know, he's in a little bit of a funny spot. He can play the nine into the four and move the cue ball, but that's a touchy shot. He's got to stun the cue ball nicely. Now, if he wanted to pop this a little bit, he could maybe make the nine in his pocket as well. Okay, he moved a few over. Really kind of rearranging them. And now, really, essentially, has gotten out of the break. Now, I would come aggressive, a little aggressive into the stack here. Try to wiggle a few like that route, but just go ahead and try to wiggle a few free. Cue ball's not really going anywhere, and it'd really be nice if you got the three open or something like that. But again, that's, that's probably a prime example of do I want to take any chance at all in that race to three. So now looking at the kick shot. That'd be a kick combination kiss shot. Seven into the three, kissing off the one if he's really thinking about making it. But he's going to try and plant the cue ball in that 11. 
Okay, got away from him a little bit. Now, Richie, he's a great banker uh, for a long time. Played banks really well. One pocket banks, bank pool banks, doesn't matter. And I'll tell you something about his opponent. His opponent's even better. Uh, at least, definitely at this moment in their careers. So, he's got to be really careful, both these guys. And I think Billy, you know, you know, obviously has had some great success in one pocket. But when I see talk, think about Billy's game, one pocket. If he gets to play it, you know, for a few days or a few, you know, big matches or some good players. Really gets to playing it well. Uh, it's like all of us have done play it for a while, can kind of not forget what to do, but kind of like not get in the flow of the game as much. So, and it, you know, it's not just Billy when I say that, but it stands for all of us. Just little things. Now, here, Billy may, you know, he could consider the eight straight back because he is so good, and I think he could stun the cue ball over here on the side rail. Yeah, he's trying to see if he can beat the kiss. It's a really touchy table uh, here at the Derby. Okay, he's just going to float off this ball here. Hopefully nothing gets dead. If you're a Billy Thorpe fan. <clears throat> Now, Richie could challenge here. He could bank the two. Uh, the eight's a little scary, but the cue ball is going to end up in this. Uh, if you're looking at your screen now, the lower left-hand corner pocket. And leave long and straight on the 14, but a really tough cut on the eight. And the thing is, Billy doesn't have much future, meaning he doesn't have much that goes. The one doesn't go. 513 doesn't play. The 37 is really odd. I like the two ball here. Just lay him on the rail. It lays perfect to get the two over the pocket. Watch out. Now, he can't afford the scratch. But I'm not going to fault Richie there. I really liked uh, I really liked that selection. I think he could have got, not only made the bank, but he could have got rewarded with a combination, I believe, maybe on the 10-6. Uh, shot on the one and, and possibly, you know, get to reposition the game a little bit. Okay, Billy's going to try and probably hold an angle on the 15 to where he can go into the 3-7, maybe. Shooting the 8. I uh, didn't quite get there. So now I'm not sure how, what he's going to play. Just into the stack, maybe. Could get pinned here, so he's got to be careful. Oh, he went on the lighter side. Is he going to maybe two rail a ball here? Is he just and put him behind the two, or is he going to play the two over into the three seven? You got to be careful here. And he, you could tell the speed he shot it. He was either trying to tickle the two off of the backside of one of them balls towards this hole, or um, not really give up too much as far as at least a direct shot. Again, I think. Richie should be pretty aggressive here, banking the three back into the nine and going up table with the cue ball, letting some balls flow, or the seven ball somehow maybe into... Uh, seven's not as good to me because you're leaving the cue ball down here, which I think is real dangerous. I like the three much better than the seven. Oh, he's going to put him behind the balls, it looks like, with a high ball. That's surprising. Because this type of shot here... Nothing wrong with it, but you don't have much near your pocket. So, you're definitely just trying to play for a long up table game there, I believe. Hard to get your opponent to sell out when you don't have much close to your hole. Okay, that's a pretty good shot. But, does Richie want to bank the 11? You know, with a little inside spin here. Looks like it lays to where he can go to the bottom cushion and uh, bump the bottom of the seven. Key here is you want to still bank it to where you don't don't remove the seven too much. You want to have a bank on the seven, maybe 
if you don't get much angle on the two. So you don't want to hit this a ton of speed. Yeah, that, that would have been pretty good. He held the seven where he could shoot the two. And uh, where he could shoot the two and then bank the seven. So Billy's got to go to the stack here. Pretty good. See how he went into the stack with a hair of speed also? No, when you got that solid stack and you hit it the right, right part, you're going to stick. So you can open a ball on your side. Now, you don't want to cream it, of course, but, you know. Now, Richie is uh, going to play off the 10 and coast the cue ball. He's not going to like that, even though he may be okay. It may even be, like, better than okay. Billy's got to be careful. He almost maybe has to challenge. Uh, he could kick into the stack, I guess. Maybe just take a foul. Is he kicking the six? That's a dangerous shot. He probably just wants to go into the stack here. Spot one up. It's pretty smart. Keeping it to where it's a pretty simple shot. Um, you know, not doing too, too much, but keeping your position. And let's see how, uh, how Richie is going to react here. He's got a bank on the 10 where he can, looks like he can pinch the cue ball into the 11 and 15. Okay, maybe not. He's cutting that ball quite a bit, it looks like. This may get away from him. Yeah, that's what I was saying. When he's cutting that ball so much, the cue ball is going to have a lot of carry on it. So unless you were like like, like flat drawing it with that much cut where you really, really stuck, if you were just stunning it over, it was going to carry through the ball. see Billy has a 12 ball that goes he has 11 on the side rail six goes as well probably wants to stay away from the bank on the 10 just yet is he gonna get anything here it's real close it's like he's shooting the six This is his first real open, open shot where he can, you know, shoot one, get some position. And and really, uh, I'm not sure if the 11-6 is playable for Billy at all, but otherwise these balls really lay nice for Richie. Now the table's fast, like I said, so he's got to be mindful of the cue ball. Looks like he's perfect here. And you don't question a whole lot of course look to where you'd like to get but he's really got two to choose from on the first shot and right after with the 12 being there it'll be two more to choose from uh he's got the 15. Oh, he went with a high ball nice shot looks like he's pretty good here so he's got a nice shot on the five not a whole lot of angle, which is really kind of what you want. You want the angle, but not a whole lot. And this is where, you know, again, stay off the rail. Don't get jacked up with the 15 and the 12 being there. You can move either way on the nine. I wonder if he got, did he get a little thin here? So you have to maybe... Just rub the 12 a little bit as he as he makes the nine, carrying the 12 down with the cue ball. Yeah, like that. Nice shot. Now that's going to slow him down, getting on the rail. Take a few minutes. 
And this for Richie. Don't 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 try to do too much here and miss this ball. And that's a rule of thumb for a lot of people. He's got six now. Does he shoot at this? Looks like he is. Wonder if he could get a kiss if he don't run through. Not on the six, but on the eleven. Okay, he got through it. Nice. Great shot. Really good touch. Had to put a little right English there. Cut the six a little more. All right. Looks like he could do something with the 11 here, and I would, I would probably shoot it if I was Richie and myself. Looks like the, even if you draw and bump the 14, this is too good of a bank to pass on. And you're playing a guy that can bank multiple balls in a row in on you. So I think he's supposed to shoot it. This is laying pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't stun across. Like he, I think he could do that to where he doesn't give a shot up on the 15. I would draw this. Even if I bump the 15 a little bit. I think the draw is okay. Yeah, I like that. I think that was the best play to try and, you know, make the ball. Of course, you're hitting the 11 hard enough to get back up table. Uh, now, Billy's going to... We'll see what, if he wants to shoot from here. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Yeah, just like this, just disregard... Um, now, the one thing is this one pocket tournament is played after the banks every year. So everybody's in stroke. They know the tables. And it's no coincidence the guys that do really well in the one pocket follow it up with the banks. Or, excuse me, other way around. People that do well in the banks follow it up with the one pocket. Oh, if he make, I was about to say, if he makes that one, thought he carried the 11 over. So now this is sitting funny. He's got to just draw and stop his ball right there. Maybe even draw back a little bit to not give up a bank on the 11. So definitely not out of the woods uh, with a win here in game number one for Richie. Played Richie a lot of pool through the years, man. He is one knowledgeable guy and for the most part, really, really always played well for the money. Not sure why he's considering the 11. It's a thin cut. I'm not saying it's not playable, but, you know, Richie's not going to outshoot Billy, and he'll admit that. But, but making really good decisions is, uh, what's he, is he trying to move the cue ball? That's dangerous to me because Billy is so crafty. I guess he didn't feel good enough drawing up, maybe. I guess it's dangerous drawing up a few inches. But he banks so many balls different ways. That would have been scary to me moving the cue ball up table. Okay, I'm kicking at this, the 11. I mean the 1, excuse me, with the 11 there. Very hard. You can be a little more aggressive with this kick shot because very hard to kick it over and back in front of your opponent's pocket with the 11 being there. Meaning if you don't if you miss the point, miss your pocket, don't hang it. You know, you could kick this two rails and back cut it into the rail, it could go off the 11. You're supposed to kick at this one. That's called having cover, meaning nothing really too bad is going to go wrong from the shot. And you can see here a, a great shot by, by Richie Rich. Now, is he running, moving the 11 and running the cue ball? Watch out, scratch. So Billy kind of gave up on that stroke a little bit. Kind of got short through the ball a little quick, which the quick and the short usually go together. 
so he didn't get that bite on the cue ball like he wanted a little bit to, to kind of, you know, come tight off that second rail. See Justin Hall there in the camera. No question about it. Richie will shoot at this three ball. No reason to draw the ball here. I mean, that's like the, you know, ideal shot because the one's there, you shoot the three. If you three gets out of there, you draw the ball, you're not giving anything up. But I think Richie's just supposed to, if he wants to run the cue ball here, that's one thing. I'm not in love with that either, but just kind of like medium it in. Now, that was a little lighter than I thought he'd shoot it. But, but I understand, I mean, you're in a great position. You got a ball at the table. You got two near your hole. You don't want to give up the game. He could be aggressive with this kick, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I would have probably shot at that one. Just because the cue ball and the three are going to, with that more speed, they're going to hug, believe it or not, kind of kind of not go as, as much. Whenever you roll it like that, they're actually rolling more. So, now, Is he kicking at this or is he just making it? That would have been, okay, he's not doing either. Oh, he did make it. Okay. Now, does he play this ball cross and move the cue ball a couple rails? This is why I may, maybe I wouldn't have done this. What's he doing here? Is he going behind the three? That shot is a lot of risk and not a ton of reward. It's a great shot, but when you don't get the 12 across, now he's done pretty well, don't get me wrong. Kind of put it in a... You know, but it's not too hard for Richie to get out of it. Now, the one thing that this shot helps with if you're Billy, because he needs all three, is you get to keep all the balls down here. I Meaning Richie's probably not going to remove balls from here, so maybe Billy can get creative on the next shot. Oof. Okay. We'll see what Billy looks at now. This... Now, Billy's the type to tighten this three-railer in and steal the game on you. Just hit right before the pocket. Watch it tight. Yeah. Just something like that. So that little ticky shot that Billy played last time, it, it got him that shot that, that he wanted to win the game. And I'll tell you the way it turned out, it, it's definitely gotten him back in the game. I don't know what I do here. You can clip off the one and go three rails, try and get behind the three. You can move a couple balls. See, so trying to bank the one by the 12 and into the three somehow and move balls, draw on the ball. I'm not sure. I uh, look like he may have uh, double hit the cue ball maybe, but. Because he was trying to draw it, I believe. Okay, that was a little better stroke, for sure. Should come straight up the table. So Billy goes on to make this a little bit of a body blow for, uh, for Richie, but, you know, it's a race of three, I mean... Richie can recoup for sure. Has a much better tempo there through the ball. And really kind of no fear shooting that shot for Billy Thorpe. Now one thing that's going to hurt for, for Richie is it was his break. And it hurts always. And it's, you know, you win the lag, race to three, first break's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good handicap to start off with. And, uh, now he's lost that, but one thing you'll see from Richie when he's when he's playing, he's one of the best at getting out of the break too. He's really really creative and and uh, knows a lot of shots. Mm, nice break there. You could hear that click. And Richie's not gonna like this. He's gonna be. Uh, this is what I deserve after losing that last game. Don't get me wrong, Billy Thorpe made one hell of a three-railer uh, to kind of trap Richie, but...
Yeah, I'm not sure, really. Mm. All the balls are pretty open. Uh, may have to try and make the four here off the nine with the cue ball. He's got to get the nine up. He may give up the 11. He shouldn't give up the 11 if he... Oh, he went that way. Great shot, really. I didn't realize that was available. Really nice. Now, Billy probably just plays the nine over. L looks like it lays pretty good to get to the hole or towards the hole. Hold the cue ball up. Now he's left a little kick on the on the uh, nine ball. <laughs> Not much to worry about here. I mean, you should lay on this to where the six really isn't bankable. I hit it with a lot of speed. Even if he caught the ball, that was a lot of speed he, he hit that ball with and lost accuracy coming into the, in, into it. So, is this four like a hanger, or is he shooting a six off the four, maybe? Something he likes, that's for sure. He just, uh, with that other ball there, he had to catch it a little thinner is all. A Richie may have a cut on the 11. Probably stays away from it, unless he can see something else uh, to get shape on. Not too great of a way to go up and down the table with the 13 there. Obviously, the 15 doesn't go, so probably going to move the 4-9 some kind of way. Now he's got a lot of balls on the bottom rail, so if he can draw his cue ball up to side rail, it do him a lot of good. Now he didn't really draw it, so a little flirting there now. Nothing got disrupted too much, but it sure could have. And Billy's not going to think twice about banking this three. I don't think, anyways. Oh, he's going to lock him down. Is there something that uh, Richie can shoot at? And I don't think Billy, by any means, is looking past Richie in this seventh round. I mean, he's a favorite. That's for sure. But at the same time, you know, I've had this happen to where I'm just kind of shooting because I feel like I'm a favorite a little bit. And, hey, I'm probably supposed to put this guy on the end rail, but then I'll remind myself there's a certain type of way I got to play if I feel like I'm going to go deep in this match. And it's not so much from opponent to opponent. It's just a certain way, period. So nice hit there, Rich. Now this three ball may be a little bit different. Because this is how Billy wants to play. He wants to get one where he's a big favorite to make it or hang it. And it's laying nice to do so, meaning there's not much risk. Now, that came off short. I thought he'd shoot it a little more and stun the cue ball over a little bit more for safe and still holding shape. But All right. Cutting the 11. Going into the 12, I think, anyways, trying to slide off, open some balls, and get a shot on the 14, a cut shot, or maybe a cut a shot off, off of the balls he's, he opens. Big shot for Rich. I just caught the wrong side of the stack. He's got a bank on the three, though. I guess the 12 is just aimed too high to throw downward. Now the 8 won. Who knows? Careful. And I've always found that the Cyclops balls, uh, bank shorter than the Aramith balls. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't know if it's the material they're made out of or what, but the table here in the one pocket division breaks in a little bit, and even when they're newer, this just seems like they can bank a little shorter. We saw both these guys, uh, Billy bank a three ball a little short, and then uh, actually it was a three ball that that Richie banked a little short, and now this has gotten going, uh, got go Billy going. 
just gonna open the stack, it looks like. A little follow shade needs a kiss and he got it. Probably draws his ball here. Oh, he followed it. It's gotta go. Well, it looks like he got there. Playing for two. Or no, three, excuse me. Natural coming around. It's kind of safe too, just don't baby it. Now, a quick game two. Billy Thorpe up to nothing. Yeah. This is Railbirds TV. I'm Jeremy Jones. It's 2020 Derby City Classic. You can see it's a one pocket division. Uh, two, uh, two really top one pocket players here. Not sure if Richie's ever won it. All right, Richie, it looks like Richie's going to take a timeout. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Richie Rich to break the balls here in game number three. Got himself a soda. Okay, decent. Looks like he's just going to play into the stack with the cue while trying to tickle the four across. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of speed. Yeah, his line wasn't, you know, really great, great on it. Now, what's the one look like? Can he get at the 15 ball? You can play the four over if he wants. Mm, pretty nice shot. Billy's immediately going to go to the long rail kick. He's got to have some good speed here now. Oh, he's just going to kick behind the 11, it looks like. That may have, may have snookered him. I'm not sure. I guess he did. So he's kind of forced Richie's hand a little bit. Richie's got to play this 11 down maybe towards the 10 and draw up in the corner here with the cue ball. Maybe just over the side row. He ain't got to go all the way to the corner, but he wanted to go a little further back just in case the side rail could leave. Billy, a few more options. Now, Billy, may kick and stick on the four here. Take a little chance. Uh, he's looking at the stack. Maybe there's the six look good here. Right, he's shooting it. Okay, did he give up a shot? I don't know if he gave up a shot. <laughs> Uh, this is crazy here. Four got covered up. A three ball combination didn't go on the one because of the 12. Can't get to the 12. He's got to kick behind the 14 here and slide up and make the nine, I think. I'll tell you, it'd be better as a long rail kick on the nine if you're comfortable going by the eight. Yeah, I mean, you just got to take your medicine here if you're Richie, meaning, he, you know, Billy got a little fortunate here is all. It'd be best if you could long rail kick this nine ball in. Is he going to go for something? Is there something to play here? Not sure there's a shot here for Richie. And a long row kick ain't bad. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be too worried about the eight, I don't think. And then you keep the 14 in the path of the 12 and everything. If you have to go off the 14, the, and that's not the end of the world because there's nothing really offensive playable. But this is definitely the shot, I think. Now it does play a little short, I believe. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Is it going to get there? It is. Nice shot. It's going to keep Billy in some, some trouble here. He kick bank in this ball? Oh, he's just trying to make it for him. Pretty good spot here. Now I'm, I think you just play the six across mildly and pick out a spot you would like to get the cue ball on the side rail just below the eight somewhere. I mean, maybe he can't get to the six. Can't get to six. Billy's done a good job with that last shot. Really good job. You going to go a little firm at this like that and try and go two rails behind the six? He hits that. Still not bad. Now some people say right there just lay it on the rail and that's what Richie was trying to do I think and I kind of agree with that most of the time 90 over 90 percent I guess it's still you know Billy's got to do some things not to give up a bank not to give up a straight in shot not to give up an easy position I may take a chance at the 10 I ain't gonna lie 10 into the four I don't know Maybe off the draw off the bottom of the 10 into the rail and into the one. Still gives up the six, maybe. Play a double up, I guess. Yeah, this isn't much fun here. Oh, right, what a shot. What a creative shot that was. And that's what I was saying, draw off the four into the... Rail into the one. He shot it with a little inside. That way he could be a little more aggressive. Playing them balls back across. And now he's put a lot of heat on, on on Richie. Because I think Richie's supposed to go for this bank. I really do. He goes into the three, all right. Might fall over behind the six and actually even get safe, it looks like. But main thing is makes it and gets the shot. It's, it's the shot he's back in the day. It's, Pretty much all the time and now he's he's got a guy that's not gonna back off on these shots he's supposed to make so I think you got to take the lead there at some time if you're Richie or anybody really yeah he's not gonna waste any time getting at one of these banks I'll just come across for the three to get the run started don't do anything crazy you got a five ball you got a seven ball you can get on. You got a 14. Now he can go into the one, so he, or I would. He's got to hope he gets an angle here and stays off the rail. Bump the six, a little, uh, excuse me, the seven a little bit. He's got the scratch covered up, and the eight goes though, so that's pretty sweet. He can just roll this ball in. Oh, he stunned it. I thought he'd roll this and go towards the 10 with the cue ball. Still okay though. He's playing for three. Just comes off the one and two, probably. Hard to avoid him. Okay. He's got a cut on the 14. Playing for two. Nice shot. End up dressing up a bank on the on the two ball here. Needs one to win this match and advance to the I think the eighth round is it? It's caught a little high. Richie wants to bank at this. I mean, he's down seven to one here. The two nothing ain't that big a deal to Richie. I mean, this he knows it's a race of three, but this the seven nothing in this game with all the balls right here kind of feels like he may be able to get back in it if he makes this bank. And he did. Didn't quite get on another great shot though.
Okay, he's just got to either cut the two or knock the two away, one of the two. Oh, great shot. Is he going to hold any shape on this fast table? Looks like he is. All right. Got a little straight. A little unlucky there because he definitely had a 15 and a 1 he could possibly get some shape on. Okay, I guess he's looking to bank this eight. I thought he may stay away from this just because, you know, he's queuing on the rail. It's a little flat. Uh, you know, easy to give up a free bank on the 14, 15 if he under hits this or over hits it. Could give up a bank on the eight as well. Of course, he could make it and continue to get some more balls. So we'll see. Great shot. And another nice hit. Just slowly picking them off here. Again, what do you do, though? Where do you go? Got to be careful. Are you looking at banking the 15 with a low ball here? It's close to a kiss with a low ball. I think I, I don't know what I do here. I mean, you can move the 15 and come down and try and drop in that spot that's real tough to bank the one or the 10. But then you could give up something on the 15 as well. I think you're still okay. Okay, high ball, I think he could get away with this. But if he draws a cross off the 15, I think he's uh, could have trouble. We're going to have to one off the 10 here. Watch the 10 off the point go towards uh, Billy's hole or somewhat. It could. Could go towards Richie's hole, though. Okay, he's looking at this ball here with a high ball. I think he's okay, though. He's got to get through it. He could come a couple rails and hit the one. Uh, is he going to get past the one? He is. Great hit, Richie. Great shot. Billy should just give this one up because it's real tough for Richie to move from there on that 1 and 10 without possibly giving you something. So I wouldn't take any chance trying to remove this ball. She's got to be really careful here. Playing it. One dangerous ombre. You can bank the balls all kinds of ways. Like, i got to believe he's three rail in this. I don't, maybe two rail in it. Three rail in it. Looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, and a great shot by Billy Thorpe. And for what it was, not I mean, Richie didn't play bad by any means. That first game got away from him when he really uh, played a great game. Uh, but again, Billy Thorpe, tough tough customer. Guy knows when to shoot, and he does it well when he does it. So anyways, I'm Jeremy Jones, uh, Railbirds TV. This is the 2020 Derby City Classic. More one pocket to come. Stay tuned.